In this video, we'll use SPSS to run a hierarchical multiple regression. The criterion or the dependent variable is price paid for the album, and the three predictor variables are participants' weekly disposable income, their estimates of what others would pay for the album, and the number of the band's albums that they already own. We're going to enter the predictor variables into the regression model on two steps or blocks. So on the first block, we'll enter disposable income and price that others would pay. And then on the second block, we'll enter the number of previous albums owned. And this will allow us to determine whether or not the number of previous albums owned can account for incremental variance in price paid beyond that already accounted for by disposable income and estimates of what others would pay. Now you can see in the data view that in total, we have data from 65 participants. So in the Analyze menu, select Regression and then Linear. Move the criterion variable, which is price paid for the album, into the dependent field. And then move the block one predictors, weekly disposable income and price others would pay, into the independence list. Now click the next button and move the block two predictor, which is the number of the band's albums already owned, into the independence list. In statistics, select confidence intervals, R square change, descriptives, part and partial correlations, and collinearity diagnostics, and then click continue. In plots, move Z resid, which uh, means standardized residuals, into the Y field, and Z PRED, which stands for standardized predicted values, into the X field, and then select histogram and normal probability plot, and click continue. And finally, in the save dialog, Select standardized under residuals and Mahalanobis and Cooks under distances. Click continue and then click OK and your output will appear in the SPSS viewer. 